Hello, I'm an actress. Three years ago, I started my own business and I run it by myself. And at the same time, I spend enough quality time to play and teach my little girl, who I'm so happy and proud of how she become today. But balancing between those responsibilities were not easy at all. There were days I got super exhausted, but I could quickly recover and continue the following days until today. Do you want to know how I could do that? How I could do all these jobs and tasks at the same time? Yeah. Thank you. By organizing and tidying up my home. Yes. That process gives me happiness and energy every day. And that process helps my mind to be clearer, sharper, logical, and creative to deal with a multiple task every day. So this is what I would love to share with you more today. There are so many things in life that you don't want to throw away, right? or you can't throw them away as the fear of when you need them, they are not there anymore. Like books, old documents, old magazines with some information you were once interested. Or some clothes we think we want to keep them because maybe one day you might fit in when you go to the gym or you might need them when you have a suitable occasion. Or you want to keep all the drawings that your kids drew on it because you think if you throw them away, you might lose the track of following up with their development. Or you don't even want to throw some souvenirs away because you, if you throw them away, you will lose the feeling of once being able to join in that special trip. So many reasons for you to hold on to things, hold on to everything until your room look like this, full of mess and clutter. Well, this look a bit like my room when I was in Saigon before, full of boxes, curtains, a magazine, books, clothes, even a broken chair. So, I, don't want to, I didn't want to give them away, just want to hold on to it. And just three meters away from this where I stand is the balcony, where sometimes I go there, have some relaxed moments, or dry my wet clothes. Let's go there with me. Ow! God, be careful because you know my leg can bump into some hard corner of the furniture in the room. Okay, let's keep going. Tiptoe and try to be careful. Oh, God. See? I almost kick all the boxes down. It's so troublesome. Honestly, it's not enjoyable at all just to go to the balcony. So, eventually, I don't want to go to the balcony anymore. Just in this messy room. See? I can't freely walk. I can't freely sit. I can't feel like I can do anything easily. So, slowly, I don't like to go to this room anymore. I want to avoid seeing the mess. I want to avoid touching them so I can be free of stress. So, and of course, there's not enough air for you to breathe. Right? A lot of stuff and covering up, piled up. So there's no more space for air to flow. So you don't have good air to breathe. So you can't recharge yourself. Well, so with all this mess, so how could I, uh, and then I think, are they really important to us? And that's a question I want to ask you too. Are they really important that you have to hold on to them? Or they just stop us from being free and wise to choose what is best for our life? So, 
It's, yes, if you keep holding on to it, your mind can't be clearer and sharper anymore. So, we don't need them like we think. When I was in Saigon, this room is like this, and you know, I hold on to them. My, my mind can't be clear. And there were days I got a lot of incidents happen to me, to my work and to my personal life. There were days I got so sad and I used to cry my eyes out night after night because of all those bad incidents. And the more I felt down, the more I want to hold on to things around me to feel secure. And I was so lonely that I longed to have a partner who can be my husband. I longed to have a baby of myself, but somehow it never happened. In 2017, I got a chance to go to Hanoi to film a series called Gamodeli Anwan. And at that time, I was packing just two big suitcases and one handbag. And just enough for my three months trip in Hanoi. And I had to be honest, I have to be honest, in the beginning, it was not easy at all to adapt the unpredicted weather, the different lifestyle, how people think, how people talk, how people joke. But slowly, I got used to it. And slowly, I start to see good things in Hanoi. I open up my mind and my heart, open myself to everything around me. And then I met a man who quickly became my husband later and became the father of my child. And of course, my career became so much better after that also. What I realized in some of my quiet moments is that the fact that I left everything behind in Saigon, I no longer attached to those old messy things. I started my new chapter of life with open, fresh mind. And you see, good things did come to me. So I think until now, you might understand very well why I'm here today passionately talking about how organizing your living space can change your life because I strongly believe, and by witness of my own stories, I know that an organized living space will help you to have clear mindset. Your mind will be clearer, sharper, more creative to deal with everything in life. And therefore, your life will be better organized and you will achieve better things. Or at least, you will enjoy to live your life so much more. So now, I would love to tell you some benefits of how an organized living space can give to you. You can know exactly where your belongings are. You have no stress finding them. And you can use them every day, nicely, no stress. And everything has a space, so you don't have to think too much when you want to find them and you have chance to use them, not letting them sit in the back of the closet getting moldy and lonely. Therefore, you don't waste your money on buying things without using them. And when everything is tidy and neat, then you have more space. More space means more air can flow through the room, so you can have better air to breathe and better energy to recharge yourself. And if you are lazy in cleaning up your home, like me sometime, then I guarantee you when you have an organized home, you only take five to 10 minutes to cleaning up everything. So it saves you so much time in cleaning up your home. And when you have less stress looking at the mess and clutter, then you have less desire to complain. You only think about positive things. And you only think of finding solution rather than thinking, oh, because of this, because of that, it's terrible, right? Thinking positively. 
So imagine you have a handbag. And today, I have a very good outfit to go with that handbag. I want to get it. But where? OK, let's find it. OK, I, I, after a very like, short while, I start to get annoyed and tired. And I don't want to find it anymore. And I think, OK, just go. Just go like this. Why do you need that bag? Just get another bag. And then you go. But at the same time, your bag is just sitting in the back of the closet, getting old, moldy, lonely, and its life has no value because nobody uses it. Well, you might think, well, my life is still fine, you know, and my bag is still somewhere for me to find it. But I tell you the reality you will soon go and buy another bag. And you'll forget about it, or you don't even bother to try to find it. So sad for the bag, right? So sad, and so sad for your choice and your effort to buy this bag in the beginning also. So let's change it. Let's find a right place in your home just for your bag. Oops. See, so here, you can display all your bags. Now you can see it easily, you can find it easily. When you need it, you just take it and put it on your shoulder. And when you finish using it, you just put it back to where it belongs. No stress. And save so much time in finding it, right? And when your mind has to think of how to find the right place for it, then your mind has to activate and start to think and be creative. So now your life is so much easier just in finding the bag. Imagine this system applied to every item in your home. Everything, everything have its own place. And when you finish using it, you just put it back to where it belongs. And imagine when you have a messy room, you know, you can just quickly, five minutes, just putting them back where it belongs. There, boom. Your home is tidy and neat again. So easy if you have an organized home. So, and you could see that you can save so much time, right, in cleaning up and finding stuff and all those time that you can save you can use for better things, to achieve better things, like achieving um, in work, you study more or you spend more time with your family. Time is precious, right? We want to have the most time that we can because we want to do so many things in life. So when your mind don't have to deal with clutters and mess, then your mind will be filled up with ideas and creativity to make your house, as well as your life, more beautiful. So, how do we start tidying up our home? First, you need to have a very clear picture of how your ideal, your dream home to be. Like in life, in work, in everything, you need to have a very clear, detailed target then you know how to achieve it, how to go there. Same with your home, you need it. Like me, before I make my apartment now, I have a vision of my home like this. I want my home to only have things that I like. A home that is so tidy and neat and easy to clean. A home that is set up in a way that I can live and use comfortably. A home that gives me happiness and good energy to recharge. And you can do the same. Second, so when you have a good, clear, detailed picture of your home in your head, you start letting go things which are not useful for your life or not making you happy anymore. And you can and you only keep the things that truly useful for your life. You can try the method of Maria Kondo, a cleaning expert, 
by holding each item in your hand, you feel it, whether you still like it. If not, then you say, thank you for solving me so far. Bye bye. <laughs> well, with appreciation, right? It solved us for a while. So we say thank you and let it go. And if you, when you can do this sorting out process easily, your ability of deciding what is good and not good for your life will be improved. And your mind will be stronger, determined in deciding to keep what is good for you and let go of unuseful things, unhealthy relationships, unhealthy habits, which keep you being productive in achieving whatever you want in life. So, and now we go to number three. Now we have everything that we love here. No more clutter. It's time for you to categorize them and creating spaces just for them. So, let's talk a little bit about my home. In my apartment now, it's not too big. Three bedrooms. And I have a lot of, you know, I want to do multiple tasks and things in life. So in my home, I want to do many things. So I need to create and build up my home in the way that it fits all the purposes of all the members in my family, including me, of course. So I, like I said before, I want my home to be tidy. Well, I don't like to see mops and brooms and brushes and cleaning products. In the bathroom, normally we put it in the bathroom, right? I don't like it. So I create a closet staying in the balcony and I put all the cleaning products inside nicely and neat. Well, you're going to see a picture soon, I hope. And then, and I don't like to see, okay, and I don't like to see suitcase lining up in the wall. It's so messy and taking up space. So I create a bed with a high leg like this where I can put all the suitcase under effortlessly and covered with a bed sheet. Can I see the picture of the balcony closet? Can we? And there, yes. All the cleaning products is inside nicely and neat in my balcony. And about my three bedrooms, I manage it in a way that I have one room for me and my husband, one room for my little girl and a coming baby. And the third room is like multi-functional room where I can use it as a yoga room, office room, a studio room, or sometimes my mom visit and she can take that room like her own room. So in order to create all the spaces for all the things that you need in life, or you need to think is in a logical mind, right, and creative. And when you keep doing that, then you can use that logical mind and creativity to deal with everything in life. So, now you have the beautiful home like you want. Everything is so nice. And you think, ah, now I can relax. I have a beautiful home to live in. It's so nice. And from now on, my home will always be nice and tidy and neat. But is it true? Is it true that your home will always be nice and neat and beautiful like that? The answer is no. No, of course, because things change. Life change. The whole world changes every day. Your interest changes also. For example, one day your mom wants to move in to live with you, one day you have a baby or a second baby, or you started falling in love with clothes designing, or you want to cook more, so you want a bigger kitchen, or you don't like to play pianos anymore. So when your lifestyle changes, it's time for you to reorganize everything in your home by letting go things that are not useful, keeping useful things and create spaces for them to fit your new lifestyle. And you know what? By doing that every day, all the time, that means your mind never stops thinking. You never just stop 
And being there, you keep moving forward. You keep moving and never fall behind, never just live in the past. And your mind, therefore, always being sharp, being very sharp, clear, creative, logical. You keep moving. And therefore, your life will never be boring. Your life will always get something to excite you, to change, to achieve so many things. So, there's so many things for you to create. There's no limitation in this type of creativity, just within your home. And how you can use and enjoy every item in your home will help you to have the ability to use all the potential inside you. And for me, taking challenge in life could be similar to when you accept to take the challenge to deal with mess and clutters in your home. However, don't feel insecure by a messy room because you always need a mess to create tidiness. I hope my story can help. Thank you.